Rosie, I'm going to make a tarte tan, which is an upside down pastry tart. Usually it's quite sweet. We make it with apples and pears, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to make it with beetroot because that's the hero of today. All right. Now, Rosie, I'm going to get you started on the beetroot. I've pre-cooked this beetroot and I've peeled it. I didn't want you to go through all that laborious work of peeling the beetroot. Where are my gloves? Well, you don't I'll need to. I just have to be dainty with these. You can be fine. very dainty. All I want you to do is cut them in half because the okay. beetroot is the hero, so I want to keep it Easy. as whole as I possibly can. Now I've got my pan on here and I'm going to take the core out. I'm going to slice my onions fairly thick. Usually with a dish like this I would slice them thin but you can see I've got them quite thick yeah. like this. I want them to hold up to the cooking that I'm going to give it. And I'll leave the core in. I know I took the core out of that one but I'll leave the core in the onion so it sort of holds together. Mm. Now in front of you I've got some thyme. If yeah. you can pick that thyme as well. There's not a lot of ingredients with this dish, Rosie. But a lot of love. There's a lot of love but when it comes together they work so well together. It's a very beautiful looking dish whenever you do a tartar -ta tan, isn't it? Exactly. But people get a little bit confused or a little bit scared of it because you have to flip it upside down. But I'll give you a little tip on flipping upside down so it'll make it nice and easy when yeah. you do it at home. Now the butter and the olive oil are in there a nice amount and in go the red onions. If you don't have red onions you could use white onions or brown onions whatever onions you want and I'll pop them into there. Now while they're cooking I'll add some salt to it because I want them to taste really nice and I'll add some pepper, a good twist of pepper to that as well and I'll make sure I'll stir that around so as the onions cook they develop that sweet flavour as well. Now I'm going to grab that yeah. thyme there and the thyme cooks beautifully with onions and beetroot as well so stir them around for a couple of minutes and by the time these are softened up we'll be ready to add our beetroot. nothing better than the smell of caramelised onions. And we're going to add the beetroot now, Rosie. Oh, you can heat it. Lovely. I'm going to put the beetroot straight in here like this. Yeah. Now, you've uh, cut them in half. And what I do is I turn them around so that the flat side of the beetroot is in the bottom of the pan. And yeah. I'll just arrange it all the way around here. Now, the trick with this is just move some of those onions around so they sort of mix in. And while that's in there, I'll add a little bit of sugar as well. Mm. And that'll help dissolve and caramelise. Move that around. Now, a little bit of sherry vinegar goes on there as well. That melts the sugar yeah. and that'll form like a, a sort of acidic sauce in the bottom of it. Mm. As this cooks, it'll reduce down a little bit and become even more flavoursome. Can you smell it? Yeah, it smells really good. It's really good already. Now, this is sizzling away. I'm going to get the pastry. If you yeah. bring that pastry over here. Oh, dear. Stained it a bit. Don't worry at all because we're about to put this pastry on here, so it doesn't really matter. Pretty soon it's going to be stained with beetroot, it's going to be all over it. Because it's, it's an inverted pie, it goes upside down. The trick if you are using bought pastry is make sure you take all of the plastic. You can make your own pastry, but this is really easy to make with bought pastry doesn't as taste well. nice, does it? Now I'm going to hot load this, Rosie, so I'll turn the gas off. And it's really simple to do. Pop it on the top here like this, make sure you cover the outside. I'll just turn it around a little bit to make sure that all that pastry is just inside the rim of the pan. So the pastry goes on like that, really easy to do. Now this pan works really well in the oven because I can take the handle off and it cooks beautifully. Now, now this will cook for about 20 minutes at about 200 degrees Celsius. It'll puff up nicely. I know it's cooked and then we need to take it out, let it cool down just a little bit and then turn it over. In we go. Herbs go in there. Mm. Now, here's the trick to turning it out nice and safely. Now, I use a plate that's way bigger than the top of this thing, so there's no spillage at all. Pop the handle on like that, and then, Rosie, you flip the plate over like that, and then with a thumb hold it in place, grab hold of that plate there. Make sure you're nice and safe. You ready uh, for this one? So you want to nice. look away? Yes. Flip it over like that. And it just peels off beautifully. How easy is that? Really good and no, easy. It is. It's it not is. scary, ta-ta-ta. 
I'm not scared. Are you scared now? I'm not scared. Now, you just need to fluff it up. We've got some herbs here, some watercress and some chives. On they go into the mm. middle here. And then we've got some beautiful goat's cheese. I just break the goat's cheese off yeah. and sprinkle it around. The white, the red, the green all goes together beautifully. Goat's cheese and beetroot, oh. all best friends. Yeah. Absolute best friends. They are, they are. Yeah. And a little drizzle of olive all over the top because we've got time to finish it all off and make it look nice and pretty. Yes. And why not some pepper on there as well? Go Absolutely, on. yes. That looks amazing. It Absolutely does. gorgeous. You can imagine taking this tate tan to your friend's place. You'd rock up at the door. You'd probably need to ring the doorbell with your toes because you yeah. don't want to put this down. And then bring this down, put it on the table. Everyone will be well impressed. Gar they'll gasp. And the thing about it that I know you like is it is a vegetarian dish. I really like that. My vegetarian chums will really, really appreciate that. <laughs> well, that's important because everyone has to look after I'm all their friends. Exactly. Again, exactly. they will gasp. Exactly. Now, pull that piece out there. Look at that. It looks fantastic. Nice sweet beetroot. Pop the knife over there. Let's tuck into it and tell me what you think. The pastry, the beetroot, the caramelised onions, the sherry. Oh, of course, I have to have that beetroot there. Big chunk of that. I've got a little piece Big of beetroot over here. A little bit of caramelised onion. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It has caramelised, hasn't it? It's delicious. It's nice and sweet, but just that little bit savoury as well, isn't it? I love it. I mean, I didn't need winning over. I love beetroot. I'll put it in anything, but adding the onion there too, it's really, really delicious and quite simple. It makes a humble little vegetable into something very, very special, isn't it? That's what we're good at.